What is happening guys? My name is Michael and I'm gonna show you how to make some really cool Halloween decorations out of concrete and some muffin tins. It's gonna be a fun, easy project for the family and it's not gonna break the bank. So, uh, let's make something cute. <coughs> let's make something cool. No, we're not baking muffins or cookies. Although that sounds really good right now. Focus. We're gonna be making some really quick and simple and easy concrete Halloween decorations using simple muffin tins. Now I got these particular ones at Target, so I'll leave a link down below for the exact ones I've got, but when you start pouring concrete into things, you're gonna be walking around in like the dollar store and you're gonna be looking at silly things like candy dishes and say, I'm pretty sure I can put concrete in that. So I'm warning you right now, this kind of thing can get pretty addicting. Now, as usual, we're gonna be using rapid set mortar mix. I, I know I keep shoving the rapid set mortar mix down your throats, but I can't stop thinking of cool things to make with it. Does that make sense? But I promise this thing is gonna make things way quicker and way easier on us. Like you've seen me do many times before, we're gonna simply start off by spraying these down with WD-40. You could also use cooking spray if you wanted to, but I think using cooking spray and baking tins, that might get us a little confused, right? All right, we just wanna wipe off the excess. We don't want any puddling. You could probably mix this up with, with like a paint stir or a margin trowel, but I like to make things easier on myself. I'm gonna use this uh, paddle that's really meant for stirring up paint, but this works really well on the end of a drill. Don't forget to turn your drill down to the, to the low torque setting. You don't want your drill running fast on something like this. By the way, links down below for everything I'm using today. Now I'm just gonna take a couple of scoops of the Rapid Set Mortar Mix. That's more than enough. Now I'm gonna mix it up to like a peanut butter consistency. It's a four to one ratio, but who's measuring? That's my peanut butter consistency, but I want to pour this, so I'm gonna add I'm gonna add the flow control to make this a much wetter mix for me, more like pancake batter. A lot of talk about breakfast foods today. Don't pour the whole bag in if you're mixing up small amounts, like maybe about a, a tablespoon or two. and just pour. It doesn't smell like pastries, but it's still gonna be good. Don't forget to work the bubbles out. You could also tap them with a hammer, or, or you can get a, a, a palm sander involved and just vibrate the sides.
and it seriously is as easy as that. A couple hours later, we're gonna be able to go ahead and paint these, and then we can do whatever we want with them. So we're gonna let those cook, <laughs> no pun intended, we're gonna let those cure for about an hour. We'll be able to flip them over. About another hour later, we'll be able to go ahead and paint them. And then that's where we get to have the real fun. So I'll see you in about one hour. We're all set and ready to flip. Wasn't that so easy? Aw, man. Don't flip us over so hard. These guys made it. And just like that, we have some really cool pieces. I mean, happy Halloween, right? Now, we could go ahead and leave these like this, but I think you know that I want to take this just one step further, right? And there you have it, a nice, quick, easy, fun project for the family for Halloween. It's inexpensive, it's easy to do, and I promise, guys, not two of these are gonna look alike. Uh, my wife, she did these. I did this one. And my son, he did these guys. What? There's nothing wrong with them. I think they look beautiful. So that's it for me, guys. I would love to see what you guys come up with. So remember, Instagram hashtag MichaelBuildsCommunity. I would love to see pictures of what you guys come up with. I can't wait. So happy Halloween, and I will see you guys in the next video. Pour this, so I'm gonna add. Uh, uh. <sighs> <sighs> I hate when goes wrong.